What's up guys, Rick Danamere, Holy Moly Outdoors. Thank you so much for joining us today because we got something awesome. I am so excited for what is underneath the camera right now to show you guys. But for 2019, I set out to do a few different things. Set up some new goals for me, for Holy Moly, for our YouTube channel, for our social media. There's a lot of different things that I wanted to do to bring you guys better content to bring you guys more educational content and really to be able to connect with you guys on a different level. One of these projects that I wanted to do just showed up in the mail. So today's video is going to be an epic unboxing for our new project of outfitting one of the new Holy Moly Outdoors canoes. If you guys haven't followed us on social media, we did do kind of a real unveiling last year of a couple adventures out I've shown a couple pictures here and there getting this thing ready but we picked up a 13 foot canoe this last year and I'm so excited about that because a few years back I sold my awesome little what got me started Holy Moly Outdoors the SS Red Hook so that 12 foot Livingston got sold went back to the great family that I originally bought it from so I basically had only my bigger boats and the smaller lake fishing I could do in my pontoon and it does work but I wanted something I could bring somebody else out in especially my wife. So with that being the case I found a really good deal on this canoe and fast forward now to 2019 we get to do this epic build. So in what I have below the camera here is something that I, I just I am so blown away, so excited, but cannot thank Scotty Products enough. Scotty Fishing partnered with Holy Moly Outdoors here to outfit this canoe. And let me tell you guys, this is going to be beyond epic, and I cannot wait to go through this build with you and then showcase this thing on the water. So what we're going to do to start with here is we are going to unbox what is in this big guy here and then what is in this big guy here so we've got a lot of cool stuff to showcase to you guys but Scotty cannot thank you guys enough for doing this and partnering with us we may have a few other partners coming through here in a little while that I'll uh, adding on a few different items but I am so excited for what this canoe is going to be able to do for bass fishing for trout fishing Heck, might even be able to catch a couple kokanee out of that local lake as well. So I'm really excited. But uh, why don't we get started in this unboxing and showing you guys this cool stuff that we have. Alright guys, so we're going to open up this first box. And I'm really excited because I'm pretty sure I know exactly what's in this first one. And you guys are going to be really pumped to have something like this on your smaller boats if you're able to. You kayak fishermen, this is a perfect thing to also pick up because canoes are notoriously unstable. Now, there's a lot more fishing kayaks out there that have gotten pretty good about having you with the ability to stand up. But what I got here in this is going to really make a huge difference. So, like I said, it's a pretty good sized box. And what we are going to do here is completely open this up. And I'm going to stand a little further back so you guys can get a good view. And then I will show this up to the camera. So we'll lower this down just a little bit. And you guys can see all the goodness that's going to come here. So again, I am just so thrilled, so excited, and cannot thank Scotty enough because they have something in this box that will make a huge difference for anyone that wants to pick one of these up for a kayak, for a canoe. Let me tell you guys, I am just so beyond excited. It's like Christmas morning. Knife down. Da, 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 da. Drum roll. Alright, so what we have here, guys, and we'll flip it around. 
is the Kayak Stabilizers. Now what is really awesome about this product from Scotty is this will mount into a rod holder system so that you have the ability to add extra flotation and that really helps when your canoe or kayak as you stand goes to rock side to side. You'll now have an inflated pontoon that acts as another bit of balance so that you can't tip as you start to lean. It'll use that and level you back out. This is going to help so much as we're trolling in the canoe, as we're going around, as I stand. Now, again, this is the Scotty Kayak Stabilizer. Super, super, super jacked up for that. So, what we then ended up doing here is we got a layout together. And I will show a picture here of what I plan to do with this. But we're going to take these Scotty products, basically lay out a plan on the dimensions of this canoe, lay everything together, and start building this epic little deal. So with what's in this box, is going to showcase to you guys all of the great products Scotty has to offer. And we have the ability to get ourselves rigged up with rod holders, track mounts, gear, and everything you can think of to get yourself ready to fish. So we'll start with the first thing being safety. Really, that canoe stabilizer is what I feel for my safety and concern of somebody else in the boat. If I want to be bass fishing and I want to stand up in that canoe, I want to make sure that I'm not just going to completely fall right out of the boat or tip it. So that's a safety concern for me, and I really think I was able to achieve a way to better that one. Now a second piece, if I'm fishing early in the morning, a lot of our lakes do have high-powered boats on them. So having some way to give yourself an ability for somebody else to see you is key. Now that would be navigation lights of some sort. And Scotty has an awesome... So here we go here, I actually just pulled it out of the package, but Scotty has this guy here, which is a sea light. So I can clip this, mount it to the canoe, this has a pole that I can extend and will fold right down and have the ability to, for this to be seen in the early morning hours as you should for any kind of safety reasons. Any kind of bigger body of water that's navigable in Washington State, you do have to have some kind of lighting system. And so I wanted to make sure even though I don't have a motor on this boat yet, I want to have something that I can be seen by the bigger boat so there's no worries of my own safety. So that is the Sea Light by Scotty. Super, super excited for that one. Second, I'm super jacked about. So the front of this canoe has a perfect spot to be able to set up an anchor. So Scotty sent us their own anchor kit for a kayak here, and this is going to be perfect for the canoe. Super fun and exciting there. And then <laughs> a box within a box, we have the remaining fun gadgets. So, we'll grab our knife again here. Oh, guys, like I said, this is like Christmas. I am more giddy than I could ever be at, at this moment. So, we got everything in here to get this thing set up. For rod holders, like I said, to get all of my camera equipment all set up and really be balanced right in this canoe. So we got track mounts in the four inch, a couple of these, you know, these are the low profiles, so they work really well. Got a couple of the eight inchers to have set up with a couple different items. Like I said, so there's, there's your tracks, 
Got a bunch of those. And with those tracks, you need the GearHead track mounts. This adapter allows for you to really be able to put whatever other Scotty piece, a rod holder, a fish finder mount. You can do so many cool things with that. So we got a bunch of these GearHead tracks to be able to match up. Then we got some, for the mounting side, these well nuts for some really thin material like your kayaks and like your canoes these well nuts allow as that screw goes in to the unit to mount it expands the rubber housing around it and creates a seal that is tight it really will help here with you know the feeling that nothing is going to come undone with that thinner plastic wall and so it's going to be really really awesome and like i said you can't have an anchor without an anchor mount so scotty sent us a really awesome anchor mount here to go onto the bow that'll really help us for when we're even uh, setting up on a point or something for bass fishing if i want to bring the fly rod in the boat and i want to anchor up i can get that with the canoe and set myself up perfectly to be fly fishing so these I'm going to set down. Again, some more track mounts. Really is going to help us out for all the other accessories that I already have from Scotty. So these are going to be great. Another pack of well nuts. Going to have some backing plates, which these will really help with mounting some of these next items here for our rod holders and what I mean by these I'll get a little closer so you guys can see it so Scotty has a track mount spinning bait caster rod holders so I got two of these sent these are going to be so awesome because now I can have a way to troll or store other rods and fish all at the same time so these I'm going to have mounted on opposite sides of the boat. Really makes it set up perfectly. And uh, one more backing plate here to be able, when we actually do those stabilizers on the canoe, I wanted those backing plates just to give it a little more support. And it's going to be just epic. So guys, honestly, the biggest shout out and thank you I could ever commence and put together goes to Scotty here. They went above and beyond what I would ever have expected as they helped us support and do this build. So Scotty, thank you so much. Really cannot wait to get this all together. So on top of those items, I have some of these already picked out. Um, so I have a transducer mount which is gonna help with putting a fish finder on board. I got a couple of Scotty camera mounts which are going to be awesome for mounting on those track systems and being able to film the adventures. And then I got a fish finder mount as well that will fit into those track guys. So, honestly, I hope you guys really enjoy, enjoyed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this because, honestly, I am so dang excited. I know I've already said this a handful of times, but this spring here as we're transitioning we got pre-spawn bass fishing going on we got the lakes that just opened up for big trout i am so excited to be able to get out and do some of this stuff and really have a chance to expand my fishing opportunities i get to be able to go to some smaller lakes i've never done i'll be able to get to go and really target a lot more species that normally i bypass and so this year is going to be a year to remember for holy moly outdoors 2019 i can already tell you is setting up to be epic and i cannot wait to show you guys being a part of it so thanks so much for watching today i really hope you liked what scotty brought to offer here because i sure as heck am excited for this build so stay tuned this project is going to be ongoing here in the next couple weeks as we get this boat together and ready to get out on the water. So thank you so much again, Scotty, for all that you did here and what you're gonna go in the future. So uh, we'll catch you guys out in the water real soon.
Take care and fish on!